In bright yellow t-shirts, they cheerfully work the till, stack the shelves, and mop the floors. All for free. They do get something in exchange. For four hours of labor each month and an annual fee of 25 pounds, members of the People's Supermarket get 20% off their grocery bill. And it's enough to keep them smiling, even while they clean. Once you put on that yellow t-shirt, you're one of us. Kate Bull used to be an executive at the landmark British retailers Marks & Spencer. Now, as one of the founders of the People's Supermarket, she oversees the grassroots organization of 1,000 very diverse members. So I heard that there's a Supreme Court judge that volunteers... Mm, mm, yeah. We've got a couple of surgeons, long-term unemployed, we've got ex-offenders, we've got ex-drug addicts, people who are so severely disabled they can only come in in a wheelchair with their carer and they still come and help sort out the shelves for us. With Britain's unemployment at its highest level in nearly 30 years, the People's Supermarket is appealing. Keep busy, meet people, save money. Anybody waiting? Hélène Pichon is a university student. It definitely makes a difference, especially at the till when they tell you the first price and then you get your card out and then ta-da! It's like 10 pounds off and it's really, really, really nice. She also likes the store's social and environmental value. So does Craig Jobins, who signed up more than a year ago and is now a paid employee in charge of inventory. I joined the People's Supermarket because I was formerly a manager of a Tesco's store and disliked the amount of food that we were throwing away. I just purely didn't like the fact that A, it was being thrown away and not offered to charities or local people. Here, the People's Kitchen does give a second life to food that's close to expiring. Its chef is Christophe Charbonnet. Don't throw away all the banana. There is a mixed crumble. I can do a crumble too. And it's his job to turn these wilting vegetables and bruised fruits into something tasty to sell for dinner. Christophe throws onions into a pan. The smell tempts hungry shoppers from the aisles, eager to know what he's cooking. It's the beginning of something creative just like the idea of the People's Supermarket itself. And it's catching on. 14 communities across the country want to start their own grocery store. By the people, for the people. Otiana Elwand, CBC News, London.